San Diego. <laughs> Just kidding. Pay attention to me. Okay. Um, okay, so my coming out story. Mashed potatoes, overcooked stuffing, and an antibiotic-infused butterball turkey. These are the markers of the American holiday known as Thanksgiving. Unless, of course, you were at my house on November 26, 1998. If that were the case, you would have also found a slightly tipsy wine-drinking mom, a smiling storytelling dad, a sullen prepubescent little sister, and me at the age of 17, clad in Salvation Army sourced clothing, about to tell my parents that I was gay. First, some background. Until my senior year in high school, I identified as a straight girl with very close girlfriends and a deep adoration for Liv Tyler. <laughs> She's so pretty, isn't she? <laughs> I still have a deep adoration for Liv Tyler. <laughs> my very observant mother, however, had asked me countless times if I was a lesbian. My answer was always the same. No, mom, calm down and stop asking me. Then, in the fall of 1997, I met a girl. We became friends. We hung out. We kissed. We liked kissing. We did some other stuff. <laughs> this happened a few times and then that thing happened. That, oh dear God, my stomach is squeezed and my heart is in my throat thing. I liked this girl. In addition to my, oh my God, I'm gay panic, I was horrified that my mother had been right all along. As we all know, telling your parents that they are right about anything is almost impossible between the ages of 11 and 24. I didn't breathe a word of my gayness to anyone but my close friends for almost a year, which brings us back to the Thanksgiving Day surprise. Once my sister had left the table, I began to complain about an awful translation of the Bible that, been, that had been given to me by a relative. I said something like, they make it sound like God hates gay people, but that's a load of BS. Also, I never said BS, I said bullshit, but I didn't write it in the book, so. You know what I mean? Who says BS? <laughs> Maybe me in four years, but at that point, I don't. <laughs> my mom looked up from her stuffing, her eyes troubled by my angry tone, and asked for the hundredth time, Kristen, is there something you want to tell us? <laughs> then it just happened. I dug my fingers into my palm, mustered up as much teenage courage as I could, and answered, yes, I want to tell you both that I'm gay. Silence. The first thing that my parents said to me, and the thing I will always remember, was that I was their daughter and they would always love me. For that I was, and still am, very thankful. After this initial reaction, however, my mother began what would be a very long journey in reconciling her love for her child with her deeply instilled religious beliefs. The first few years were very hard. My mother and I fought a lot. She cried a lot, and I yelled even more. Through all of it, though, we never stopped loving each other. Over time, the yelling calmed into a dialogue. She allowed herself to meet my girlfriend. Our conversations progressed and she began to ask me questions. Slowly, girlfriends were invited over for dinner and my mother and I found common ground amid differing beliefs. The thing about coming out is that it isn't one moment at a Thanksgiving dinner table. It's a process that takes patience, understanding, and compassion. It's different for everyone. All we can do is share as much of ourselves as we feel comfortable with and work diligently at accepting who we are with or without the understanding of those around us. So that's my story. Also, earlier today, we were in um, Long Island, on Long Island, I'm sorry. I'm from Long, I'm originally from Long Island, so I know you're not supposed to say you were in Long Island. 